Hey foodies, I'm Brienne. I'm Chantel. And this is Bessie Bites. This week our review is on Bog Iron Brewery in Norton. Um, their food is actually from Tom's Table Catering, so don't get confused by that. <laughs> um, they do have outdoor seating, it's very limited, so I would definitely call ahead and see if they're having a busy night. They don't take reservations, but it is worth it. They have good beer and good food, so we'll get into that next. So my foodie people, we had dinner there, like uh, Brianne said. I got the buffalo cauliflower tacos and the soft pretzels. I have never had cauliflower anything, I don't think. And especially with tacos, it was very interesting on the menu. So I was like, sure, why not? I'm gonna try it. So I got it and it was pretty good. And I'll go into more details after, but the pretzels were delicious. Any pretzel is really good anyway, so it was pretty good. So what did you get, B? So the rest of us literally all got the same thing. <laughs> and we got the triple smokehouse sandwich. I, almost, I keep almost saying burger, I don't know why. <laughs> but it was basically like a barbecue pulled pork sandwich. I'll get into it later when I go over my rating, but that's pretty much it for the food. Um, we did, Chantel didn't get any beer because she's lame, but <laughs> I only drink ciders. I do not drink IPAs and all of those oh, I love that crazy stuff. drinks. But I got the middle child. It was an IPA. So if you don't like super hoppy beers, you may not like it, but it was actually pretty good for an IPA. Cause sometimes I am kind of iffy with them. Um, and then I'm trying to remember what everyone else got. Someone got 35 cats. I think I tried it and it was pretty good. And then someone else got the Sweetest Heathen, is that what it's called? Yeah. And that was like a milkshake stout, I think. It Maybe was, it wasn't a stout. I don't remember it being dark. I tried I don't it. Remember. Yeah. Hey, anything with not milk. Not from me. <laughs> Actually, it, I'm pretty sure it said there's no milk in it, which literally makes no sense. But I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but <laughs> the other ones I really liked. So you're going to have to check it out for yourself. <laughs> so we're going to get right into our ratings. Um, before I name my rating, I'm just going to say I did not rate based off the beer. This is strictly the food. So Tom to table catering, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, so I got the smokehouse sandwich, like I said. It was a, like very thick pieces of pulled pork, which was really nice. It was really sweet with the barbecue sauce, sour with the thick homemade pickles. So it was a good sandwich, but it was kind of small and they just gave you like a bag of chips and it was a little pricey for a small sandwich. So that, that's the only reason I'm kind of iffy about it, but it was good food. Um, just because of the price and all that, I'm probably gonna give it a 7.5. So I'm not saying it's bad, it's definitely good, but I like when the price and the food kind of equal out. Definitely, so, that is important. <laughs> yeah, so that's just my opinion, but that's kind of like when you go to a brewery, it's usually food from another, a third party. That's kind of how it always is, so. That's just my opinion. Don't come at me, but <laughs> that's that. Come at her, please. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, I got, like I said, the buffalo cauliflower tacos. I have said in the past, I am a taco person. I could eat tacos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When I saw that they were cauliflower tacos, I was a little iffy about them. They weren't as bad as I thought. And check this out craziness there was green apples inside the tacos wild but it gave it a good taste so <laughs> that was all right about them what I mean you see t apples and tacos it kind of throws you off a little bit but it really wasn't bad I promise <laughs> and like I said I got soft pretzels and I can't complain about soft pretzels they're decent everywhere you go besides if they're not too salty or if you want them salty or whatever so for my rating, I'm going to rate it a seven. I did like the location. I didn't get beer, so I'm not even gonna go into rating <laughs> that part of it. Um, like I said, I like ciders, but the food was decent. And you know, when you go to any brewery, it's just small amounts of food. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't bad for a small town brewery. Yep. <laughs> and if you do want to go there for beer and not specifically the food, um, it is a pretty good atmosphere. It doesn't really have a large selection of beer, but I think it's worth checking out. I liked it, so. And to all my cider peoples, please give me a shout out so I don't look like a loser that I didn't get any beer, because <laughs> I love a nice cold cider. Especially in the fall. Yes. As you can Angry Orchard, see the please freeze change colors. send me all of your Angry Orchards because I will drink them for you. <laughs> so overall, 
food is pretty good, don't get me wrong. I know our ratings are kind of like average, but it was just a price that kind of <laughs> threw us off. Especially, we're young, we're broke, like we can't afford that. <laughs> but when you're going there for beer, sometimes it just doesn't matter because you're there for the experience. So exactly. it was nice. But Bagarayan Brewery, their, their brews, <laughs> beers, brews, <laughs> they're good as well. So check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Any last words? <laughs> just like and subscribe to this channel yes, please down and there let us know what you think and give us ideas on where to go mm -hmm. where to eat what to try what you didn't like so we know for our future videos thanks guys <laughs> bye, bye.